Baby, this is real food. Fifty-one years of experience, you'd have to imagine. Yeah. I mean, he was telling me behind the scenes that he's killed a lot of bacteria in his time. He's brought a lot of bacteria out in his time, and to just have that much experience. We learned a little bit about the vitamin Bs. I knew that there was vitamin B, but I didn't realize how wonderful they were. So bacteria produces, and yeast produces B vitamins. Yeah, yeah B vitamins. I mean, yeast, there's good yeast and bad yeast, yeah, everybody knows. Some bacteria, like, for instance, Lactobacillus acidophilus, it needs vitamin B1 as a growth factor. So they need a symbiotic yeast to go with them, but probably a proper balance of the mother culture. It would contain maybe 0.05. Percent yeast and the rest of the lactobacillus. Right, thing. so that's obviously it's a very little amount, but an yeah. effective amount to obviously yeah, be, yeah. the yeah, B vitamins. Because so many people have trouble digesting their food, yeah. so this actually allows your body to digest the food that you eat from your house that you prepare. Well, we need yeast as much as we need the bacteria because the bacteria are opportunists. The yeast is that they're like the tanks in the army. Right, and right. They go in and they break everything down and make it easy for the bacteria to come in after and right. feed. And so they're opportunists, and that's why they always like to follow the yeast around. They're opportunists because we get the leftovers from the bacteria. Now, what do you mean by the leftovers? Well, after they're fed, we get what after they've there. eaten and. Yeah. You know, if you look at them as an army, then the yeast are really the tanks and the bacteria are really the, the foot soldiers. They're coming in and after. That is why the powders work so well for me yeah. and CJ and my whole family. And I mean, you have seven children. I have a, an army to test. What did you think you learned that was I so fascinating? I love the uh, analogy of an army. There's a little bit of yeast that are the tanks, and then there's all this bacteria that are out there fighting for us. And to imagine that we have this army in our body, it's like we already have everything we need. But right. the unfortunate thing is we've killed a lot of them, so right. we don't want to have a strong army. We have army. a bunch of hiding soldiers right. <laughs> with and no tank. In this time when everybody is doing so many things to kill the bacteria, we have these phenomenal foods that are forgotten foods that can actually help replenish it and bring us back to health. Right, and it's easy to take and it tastes good. And, yeah. yeah.